Hey guys, okay, so, I gotta say, one thing that I really, really hate is videos fucking up because my microphone, for some reason, decided to rise in volume. I don't know why. This, this is one thing why I haven't uploaded any Minecraft videos from the Minecraft fan server in about a few days as a result of this, and you're like, well, why don't we hear any game sound? Well, that's because this is post-commentary, because this is the second time I've had to record an episode. Like, in this original version of this, I'm just taking the footage and I'm muting it. Because originally what ended up happening was... I was complaining about how, um, originally I had about 30 minutes of footage with, um, or a weirdo, and it did not come out good because I thought it recorded off my, um, stupid, uh, Logitech, uh, HD webcam, because that microphone's a piece of shit, but in reality, I figured out, for some goddamn arbitrary reason, my Stupid microphone decided to increase its volume tenfold for no goddamn reason. It, it just did it for some reason. And I'm like, ah, the, the son of a bitch. And I, I don't know what caused it. So this is one thing I have to do. And it's one thing I've always... Uh, did because I know major Let's Players uh, deal with um, muted audio, but I guess I didn't do it before. Is I don't really test out my sound. Um, for the most part, what I do is I test out to make sure that my microphone is being picked up for the most part and I have the correct microphone. And that's one of my rituals that I always do before actually um, recording. And I, I, I apologize for this. I mean, it, it's been a while since you guys have been able to get any videos from me about that. But I, I, I just, ugh. And this is one of many technical issues that just come about as just trying to work with stuff. I mean, especially with my HD webcam, trying to use the actual program that it came off with, a, it, it does not work. My webcam is a piece of shit. I mean, like... I spent 50 bucks for it, but originally it was like a $100 webcam, and uh, they had a price drop to about $70 because of a sale during Christmas, and then it dropped even further to about a webcam that was only $70, and because of Christmas, I had enough money to buy it. So I was just like, okay, and it dropped down to like $70. Um, that cutout right there is me actually going back and getting some materials. Um, for the most part, what I'm trying to do this segment is I'm trying to plan out my um, next um, location that I'm going to be having a huge build, which is um, essentially what I call a training room. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to carve out a path to um, the room that I need to get to. And... For the most part, it actually comes out pretty good, and it takes me a while to actually build this. And I, I'm happy of the results that I've got for this, but my god, is it such a tedious process to do all this? Like, essentially, I had to sit there for a good. How long was I there? I think I was there for a good, like, 30 something minutes trying to carve out most of the shit in here. And trying to get the shape that I wanted, which was like kind of a um, semicircle based in Minecraft. But I mean, for the most part, I believe it came out pretty well. And you'll see towards the end of the video what my actual design for this place is. But I guess you guys won't get to hear my commentary. Though, um, after listening to it, 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 I'm glad you guys won't listen to it. Some of it was really, really boring, and other stuff was like, oh, man, this was pretty good. But, I mean, overall, it, the thing that annoyed me was, like I said, when audio fucks up, you get rage. I got plenty of rage, and it just it pisses me off. I mean... Uh, for anybody that does videos out there, does it rage you when you believe that you record an awesome segment and you, you're just like, oh my god, I can't wait to put this up on YouTube. It's going to be the best shit ever. And then you realize you can't really put it up because of technical issues and 
all of what you had is just false. And it's just like, no! Why, god damn it, why? It, it, it just pisses me off. I mean, that that's what ended up happening for me today. I just, I could not put it up. And luckily for me, I had um, segments of Legendary already out. I mean, I'm almost near the end of the game, but eh. And this is one major reason why I'm redoing, like, the Legend of Zelda uh, Twilight Princess on my channel for anybody that watches it, which is all two of you. <laughs> um, but for the most part, the reason why I'm redoing it, and the video is clearly labeled, Let's Play the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Redo. There's a reason why there is a redo right there. And, um, the reason why that is there is because I am trying to do, um, it because of bad audio issues. Also, I'm counting this thing out right here. I said in the video, okay, this thing has to be exactly there, or at least two away. As I count it out, I actually am exactly right when I say it is about two away. It's exactly at 18, and that kind of freaked me out. I'm like, what the fuck, how the hell did I do that? Honestly, sometimes my brain can do that, where I just can accurately predict how many blocks I've been, like, moving. But then again, it's only, like, 20 blocks, so it's not like, okay, I'm about 300 blocks away. I know it. I know the exact number. I haven't been able to do shit like that, but sometimes this is kind of interesting how I do that. And get ready for another cutout in just a second. Because what I need to do is I'm trying to get the shape of the area, and I will show you that when I get back. Well, I'm still going to be talking. Just hurry up and get to the fade transition, goddammit! Okay. So, anyways, I actually got the general shape that I wanted, and this is what I'm going to be working with for the area, essentially. And now this process right here, making up the shape of the area. This is what was the biggest time consumer of the entire part. Well, not the entire part, but I, I was just like talking about it. Like literally, I had to sit here for approximately, I think it was like 40 minutes carving out um, the exact area that I wanted because it's just a pain in the ass. And generally, I, I've said for my plan is, what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to use kind of obsidian and glass for my design. Now, I'm trying to do this in order to make it look nice and just give it a, uh, a nice look to it. I think the next area that I'm going to have is like a big dome area that's just like a circle. Now, how long that's going to take for me to build it... Hey, I, I, I honestly can't tell you. Um, and one major project I need to do with this area is I definitely need to fill up all of these cave systems with, I don't know, blocks or something. Because honestly, it, it's just going to be a pain in the ass. I can just tell you that now. I, I can already sense it. This place is going to piss me off in terms of just cave systems. So I, I think what I'm going to have to do is off camera, I'm going to have to seal up um, certain cave areas. Now, for my general preference, I don't like to seal off any of the um, abandoned mineshaft areas because uh, essentially what I want to do is if it's an abandoned mineshaft, it's an already carved out area in a nice little package for me. So I don't really have to worry about it. So I usually am going to not try to edit those places as much, only if I have to do a big project or something, that's the only time that I'll probably edit it. And I'm still thinking about what I want to do with the two spawners in this area. Um, there is a skeleton spawner, and there is a zombie spawner, and I'm going to cut out in just a second. Um, and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with these things, because... Um, in the next patch, there's going to be a way where you can harvest... Um, the zombies and get villager zombies. Cut out. There we go. Um, and that's what I want to do. It is just like I want to get these villagers to maybe spawn. But like I said, and here's the final result of the area. This took a while. It, 
But I'm like, ah, shit, I missed something. Fuck. Anyways, um, it's one thing uh, that I'm definitely going to have to do and just think about it because I- I'm one of those people that likes to use everything to um, my... What the fuck is the word that I'm thinking of? Um, damn it. Uh, I-, I just... I don't know. I I want to use the area to its fullest potential. That's what I was wanting to say. Okay. But um, I honestly don't know what to do with these things because, like I said, as a result, there there isn't really much you can do with it. And I really like the shape of this place. I mean, I think it's going to look really good once I actually come up with um, the full design with it. I mean, right now, I'll show you with the... Um, stuff at the end of the video that um, it's still in progress. It's one of these designs. It, this design I haven't really worked on completely. I sat on the computer for, I think, an hour, and I came up with that design, and I thought it was kind of lazy, so I think I'll go back to the drawing board and actually come up with a better design for it, and I'll show you it right now. Now. Okay, now. Okay. <laughs> I was just like, okay, come on, switch. So this is the design I have currently. And as you can see, it has these, uh, it has obsidian circles. And for most of the way, it has about this whole length of tube that is just glass. Now, I, I'm trying to give it more of a texture feel where it just kind of feels like you're walking down a hallway to like a laboratory or just some important place and I just like it. Now one thing that I'm trying to explain here is what essentially what I want to do is I want to have all of the areas surrounding the glass tube to be smooth stone. I, I don't want any particular block. I don't want to like I want to have lava or anything like that. Sorry. That's not my appeal. Uh, I think I what I want to do is I just want to have a nice looking texture for uh, smooth stone on the back just to make it look like it we carved into essentially the ground around us and we made this pathway to a new area that we built with our own hands like for the most part I want most of the laboratory to feel like it, the, it's like a hidden secret base and it's underground and I want people to um, feel like they're coming in a secret base and I have all these cool things I have all these gadgets farms stuff like that potions laboratories and everything in there and just have all these training facilities and everything also right now I'm complaining about I don't like the way that the redstone um, lamps are in the ground uh, I was thinking I'm um, gonna try to experiment and see if putting the redstone lamps maybe in um, the walls are right into um, some of the areas where the glass is, and I'm just showing off this area. But I, I'm trying to think of maybe more design choices, because I'm not exactly done with it. <sighs> but I gotta go back to the fact is, I apologize everyone for this video being out as late as it should. In, next time, I, I have to keep on the ball with these videos in terms of just the audio quality it's it's one of those things that I care about now I want my auto quality audio quality audio I don't know why I said that um, I want my audio quality to be at a certain level just so you guys aren't ear raped and like I said that's the exact reason why I am doing Twilight Princess again it's because I was unhappy with the uh, audio quality and I feel like I'm I need to do it again. Just apologize. And I also need to work on my other stuff. And why the fuck does these stairs keep disappearing? Like, I, I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I think I entered here in a previous version, and then my audio... Not my audio. My stairs disappeared for no goddamn reason. It's very strange. I'm not exactly sure why. But, anyways, guys... Uh, I don't want to hold you up too much longer. It's just a short video explaining what happened and everything. And just getting to see the footage of the last build. <sighs> I apologize. <sighs> but keep in touch, people. I am going to continue to make more videos. And 
as always, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Come at me, Slam. I dare you. Bye.